Now vehicle on a bank road, we require bank road. Suppose this has a curve, horizontal road. Okay. Now if I take the vehicle takes turn on this side, then this side we called as a inner edge, and this side we called as outer edge of road. In bank road, outer edge slightly raised above the inner edge means outer edge thoda sa upar uthate with respect to inner edge so we can say this is now actual road so this is the length of the road the angle which is formed this we call angle of banking that means the angle made by outer edge with respect to inner edge now suppose this is our vehicle okay now for circular path one force is required that we call as centripetal force and always acts towards the center now weight of the vehicle always acts in downward direction so this is weight of vehicle say act in downward direction that is equals to mg now normal reaction is always normal to the surface so if this is a surface of the road so normal reaction normal to the surface so yahan se agar main normal nikalta hu so i'll get this is normal so this is normal reaction that say n If I resolve this, I'll get this is one component, and I'll get this is another component, because this angle will get theta by geometry. If this is normal reaction, this angle is theta, then this component is n cos theta, and this component is n sin theta. That means horizontal component is n sin theta, vertical component is n cos theta. That means toward the center. the one component is acting that is n sin theta that means n sin theta provides the centripetal force so i can say centripetal force is provided by component n sin theta okay and n cos theta is in upward direction mg in downward direction so n cos theta balances the weight of the vehicle and centripetal force formula we have mv square upon r is equals to n sin theta let us say this is equation 1 and mg balances n cos theta so mg is equal to n cos theta so equation 2 dividing 1 by 2 this upon this you will get mv square mv square upon r dividing by mg is equals to n sin theta upon n cos theta mm get cancel so this part you will get v square upon rg is equals to n get cancel sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta so we can say tan theta is equal to v square upon rg or you can write this way also v square is equals to rg tan theta or if i had say take a root the v is equals to root of rg tan theta so this is the maximum safe speed of vehicle on a bank road now bank road for lower speed limit as we said this is our road this is the horizontal this we can say actual road the outer edge this we have outer edge this we have inner edge as vehicle takes turn on this side this is our angle of banking this is again our vehicle right so as we did weight of vehicle act in downward direction that is mg then this is our normal reaction this is n this component we have n cos theta this component n sin theta this is theta now in lower speed limit n sin theta is greater than the centrifugal force because of this between the surface of the road and tires of the vehicle one force we have to consider that force is a force of static friction and this force of static friction acts along the inclination that is outward side this side one force is there that we called as a force of static friction that is fs now if i say this angle is theta if i draw here one line horizontal line then this angle also will get theta by geometry so again resolving the force of static friction fx horizontal component and vertical component so this component will get fs cos 
theta and vertical component you will get fs sin theta okay now same concept the forces which act toward the center will provide the centripetal force and upward force get balanced by weight of the vehicle now if i see here mg is in downward direction and there are two forces in upward direction n cos theta and component of fs sin theta so mg balances by two upward forces n cos theta and fs sin theta so we can say mg is equal to these two forces that we can say f fs sin theta plus n cos theta so equation 2 an equation will write the centripetal force toward the center n sin theta and centripetal also toward the center so n sin theta toward the center and fs cos theta away from the center so difference between these two forces provides a centripetal force so centripetal force that is mv square upon r provided by difference between these two forces toward the center and away from the center that is n sin theta minus fs cos theta so n sin theta minus fs cos theta let us say this is equation 1 we will divide 1 by 2 so if i divide 1 by 2 we can say v square upon rg is equal to this upon this that is n sin theta plus minus fs cos theta dividing by fs sin theta plus n cos theta but in static friction the formula for static friction we have fs is equals to mu n mu is a coefficient of static friction n is a normal reaction we'll put this value of fs in a given equation so we'll get n sin theta minus fs is equals to mu n coefficient of static friction you can say into n cos theta dividing by fs is equals to again mu s n mu is a coefficient of static friction sin theta as it is plus n cos theta is equals to if you see n n we can take common here also we can take n common so n get cancel we'll get equation sin theta minus mu s cos theta dividing by mu s sin theta plus cos theta right that is equals to v square upon rg now dividing this equation here by sin cos theta we'll divide here by cos theta means numerator ko bhi cos theta se divide karenge aur denominator bhi cos theta se divide karenge so what you will get this upon cos theta and this upon cos theta sin theta upon cos theta will get tan theta minus mu s as it is cos theta upon cos theta is 1 here mu s as it is sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta and cos theta upon cos theta that is equals to 1 so v square upon rg is equals to we got this equation i can take rg on this side so we can say v square is equals to rg and this bracket i can write as it is that is tan theta minus mu s upon mu s tan theta plus 1 or i can take a root so v is equals to root of rg tan theta minus mu s upon mu tan theta plus 1 this is a equation for the minimum velocity lower speed that is minimum velocity for a vehicle moving on a curved road when you are taking the coefficient of static friction in picture okay if suppose if if coefficient of static friction nahi rahega mu s is equals to 0 then what you will get v is equals to if this part is 0 what you will get root of rg tan theta minus 0 that is tan theta upon mu 0 that is 0 into tan theta is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 so anything upon 1 is will get the same thing that is v is equals to rg tan theta this derivation we got in first derivation that is maximum safe speed on a bank road now bank road upper speed limit that is maximum speed limit more or less same this way was a bank road this is our horizontal this way our inclination this angle is theta angle of banking this inner edge of road this is 
outer edge of a road vehicle taking turn on this side suppose this is a our vehicle right so as we did normal reaction this is our normal reaction this component n cos theta this component n sin theta this angle is theta now in upper speed limit n sin theta is lesser than the centrifugal force so in this case frictional force between tires of the road so tires of the vehicle and the surface of the road act along the inclination in downward direction that means it act like this downward side so this is force of static friction so if i resolve this if i draw this line so this angle is theta this angle also theta so this component we will get fs cos theta and vertical component downward direction will get fs sin theta and weight of the vehicle as we did act in downward direction that is equals to mg now if you see carefully here toward the center of circular part n sin theta and f cos fs cos theta so this together provide the centripetal force so we can say centripetal force that is given by formula mv square upon r is provided by this two so n sin theta plus fs cos theta now in downward direction now two forces are there one is weight of the vehicle and second is component of static friction fs sin theta so downward direction these are the two forces upward direction we have n cos theta so upward direction force balances the downward so we can say mg plus fs sin theta mg plus fs sin that is downward direction upward direction we have n cos theta so mg is equals to i'll take fs sin on that side so n cos theta minus fs sin theta this is equation 1 this is equation 2 again 1 by 2 so mv square r upon mg will get v square upon rg is equal to so this upon this will get n sin theta plus fs cos theta dividing by this is n cos theta minus fs sin theta again a force of static friction fs is equals to you can say mu n mu s n mu is a coefficient of static friction between the surface of the road and the tires of vehicle we'll put here n as it is sin theta as it is plus fs is equals to mu s n cos theta dividing by n cos theta as it is minus fs is equals to mu s n sin theta is equals to taking common n numerator taking common n denominator and then get cancel remaining part is sin theta plus mu s cos theta dividing by cos theta minus mu s sin theta because n amne commonly or cancel kar diya v square upon rg now we will divide numerator and denominator by cos theta upar bhi cos theta se divide karenge niche bhi cos theta se divide karenge if i divide by cos theta what you will get here sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta plus mu s as it is cos theta se divide kato 1 so cos theta upon cos theta is 1 minus mu s sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta so we can say now v square is equals to my rg ko us side le leta hu rg in bracket tan theta plus mu s upon 1 minus mu s tan theta we'll take a root so v is equals to root of rg this entire bracket as it is tan theta plus mu s upon 1 minus mu s tan theta okay students now coefficient of static friction is a maximum value of 1 mu s can have maximum value of 1 Mala maximum mu s kitna possible hai? 1 ok if suppose tan theta theta is greater than or equal to 45 if I take tan 45 tan 45 is 1 tan 45 if I take 
then it is 1. So, this, so 1 into 1, it is 1. 1 minus 1, 0. And anything upon 0 is infinity. That means V is infinity. That means V has a maximum value. V has maximum value of infinity when theta is equal or greater than 45. Thank you students.